was really good debate. I had so much fun, and I, I was ever to, uh, I was allowed to ask a question. I, I got replied, and even Mr. Tim asked me if I was convinced with the reply or, or not. So that was really good. It gets you to know different points of view. Uh, when you listen to the for and the against argument, maybe you go into a debate thinking one thing, and you get out of the debate, you know, believing or really thinking that's something that is totally the different, the total opposite view. More people are now convinced that Bashar al-Assad is not the world president for Syria. Actually, the people in Syria are dying everywhere and every day. So there should be an elected president, and uh, there should be more democracy in Syria, and, and all the Arab wars also. I'm one of the people who are not really interested in politics, but this way, I, I, would, lo I would love to know about politics this way, rather than uh, news and such things. To, to see two people are talking, are really talking and replying to each other so I can question people that, that's really nice, that can be more aware of our politics and more interested in politics. I think it should be found in universities and in cultural centers and in different institutions. They should encourage debating. I think it's really important, especially in the Arab world, because we don't have the culture of debates in the Arab world. And uh, I think it will be really well and it will work very better to spread democracy in the Arab world more. Myself, uh, I used to love debating ever since I was in school, but we didn't have debate clubs or anything when I was in uh, university. So now this kind of thing, when I found I found out about it right after the last debate, so I signed up immediately to come to this one. I would tell all my family to to attend such things better than listening to just news and knowing things from media or something.